What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about workflow. Um, we did some upgrade to workflow. Um, the way it lists estimates and invoices. Before it was listing estimate and invoices based on dates, which is that's how it's supposed to be. You don't want to create an estimate and go all the way at the bottom. But the issue was um, if you have multiple estimates on the same date, it was kind of going in the middle instead of staying up top. Now it will stay up top. Let's let's give an example right now. It's just um, I just created uh, okay. just gonna select some customer. So if I go back right here, I can see it's always gonna be up top. So anytime you create an estimate, it's gonna be up top. Number two. So basically, the way it works, it's gonna be. First thing, it's gonna be organizing them by date and not just that. And then after organizing by date, it's gonna be organizing them by estimate number. So two sorting in one. And I think by doing it this way, you'll never gonna be lost because you know when you create an estimate, you need to look up top instead of trying to look in the middle. Uh, number two, we added another feature. You can see um, the one which today's, today's date is 427. The one in 427 are are colored in blue. And that's another feature which is I think it's brilliant. Now in your head, you're automatically instead of looking and trying to match which date, you basically most of the time you are working on estimates and invoices that were created on the same date. So those they needed to be separate somehow from the other estimates and invoices. And that way you know, okay, well, I don't want to look at the date, but I do want to know this was created today. Now you will know. Even under invoices, let's let's make you see those are previous dates. Let's say if I wanna if I wanna make this as an invoice, let's do an alignment, authorized, and we're gonna go to invoices, and you can see it's gonna be up top and it's gonna be colored in blue. And the reason it's colored in blue is because it's the same date as of today. So you can have this all the way up to here, partially paid invoices, same thing. I think that's gonna be a huge step moving forward. Uh, number one, anytime you create an estimate, it's gonna be up top no matter what. Number two, it's gonna be colored in blue. So you don't have to look for the date or to know. Uh, it's automatically, it's automatic, so your brain automatically catch it. And I think that's kind of really cool. We're always improving this um, section. We will always going to be and I'm going to be focusing so much on a workflow to make it easier. Uh, keep in mind, there's something called searching anything up top. What's that mean? Search anything up top. Some people don't understand that if I want to search for uh, uh, Smith, just last name, you can search last name. You can search first name. Um, you can search. Um, you can search like the car to 2008. So you do have so many ty uh, type of search inside any of these, especially if you have a list right here. If I want to search Buick, I could search Buick and f find the Buick. I can search the model, the year, make model, the name. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Like in the end, you still have to be organized no matter how much I try to organize it for you. You still have to be organized. I always tell people who ever have a multiple like 300 estimates here, the question is, do you have a 300 cars outside? And if it's no, uh, you're literally confusing yourself. That's why we have something called archive estimate. Fill them up up here. So you don't have to deal with them. What's the point of an estimate that's been sitting there for three months and the customer fixed his car already somewhere else? And uh, that's, that's not a smart thinking. You gotta keep it clean here. You gotta keep it clean here. You gotta keep it clean. And uh, I mean, we our job is to create tools to make it faster and easier and quicker, especially when you're busy, obviously. Um, uh, and some people, they do have like 20 cars in the parking lot or 50 cars. I know somebody who had 53 cars in the parking lot, but he was unorganized. I knew that for sure. Uh, because just because you have 53 cars, are you fit? When are you fixing the 53 cars? Uh, you gotta be, you gotta stay like um, uh, I don't know active product like productive productive, and then fix the cars and move on. And, uh, having 50 cars doesn't mean anything. I, I like to fix those 50 cars and bring another 50 cars. That's how you gotta think. So, uh, but I think this will help a lot for all customers. You know, knowing that it's in the blue, so I don't have to think twice. Um, let VIP handle it.
and the search is always uh, focused on something else when people will tell me mark the cursor is not inside and uh, that's how much uh, vip users are spoiled that they don't want to put the mouse and click there they want it to be already clicked so it's hilarious but i i, I get it it's it's uh, if i click on in progress i don't want to go back and click on search uh, again like on the box now it does it automatically and then just search let's say Malibu it's right there so anyway guys I appreciate you guys until next time um